I got tired of uh, having a cool nano VNA demo board that I couldn't use because of those stupid little connectors. Uh, I understand why they didn't lay it out with SMA connectors. It would have been too big and expensive, but why don't I do that? <laughs> and so uh, I laid this board out. And so it's exactly all the same circuits. And up at the top here is the open, short, load, and through. So this is your calibration section. And then uh, the attenuators, the filters, uh, the different loads, uh, uh, 33, 75, uh, capacitor to ground, inductor to ground, and then uh, capacitor uh, and inductor in series with the resistor, or in parallel, and then a capacitor uh, in series with an inductor and resistor in parallel. Anyway, you get it. Um, and then there's the uh, the two funny uh, uh, bandpass filters, the little uh, uh, three-legged part that goes in here, and then there's some uh, loading that goes around it, and then the little uh, saw filter. Uh, I had to create a, a new uh, a new pattern, a new part with pattern to put down the little uh, put down the little saw part. But uh, yeah, there you go. So. Uh, order these and uh, when they come in we'll have to load them up. Now one thing that I have to uh, have to also order is I don't have any of the vertical uh, four corner uh, SMA so I've got those on order too. All right uh, I got a package in the mail today from uh, JLC PCB and they've changed their box. Uh, no longer do you get the... Uh, do I have one around here? No. Uh, to get the brown box, you now get a blue box. Very nice. Um, otherwise, oh, for faster proto PC prototyping. Okay. Anyway, uh, inside, oh, I get a toy. I get a keychain. JLC PCB. Looks like a, uh, I guess it's a beer mug. Happy face beer mug. And some PC boards. Of course, PC boards. All right, let's, uh, let's open them up. Oh, well, come on. There we go. Do not eat. And there they are. Uh, do I get five? One, two, three, four, five. Yep. I kind of liked it when you used to get 10, but five for $2, can't complain. Um, they look very nice. They look like, uh, where's my uh, magnifying glass? They look the part. It's amazing, you uh, make things on the computer and run it through the Gerber viewer and you know, they look exactly like the Gerber viewer. Amazing. I'm, inter I'm interested in the uh, ground stitching that I did. I've never done that before. Um, I had to watch a video on how to do that. There's a trick. And what, usually when you place a, uh, when you place a, a via on a ground plane, it, it, it uh, isolates it. It automatically removes the copper around the via, so you have to type in a specific command. If you go to the command prompt and you type uh, um, tick, ground tick, it automatically then says, okay, you want the ground, uh, you want the via to be connected to ground. And then when you place them down, it, uh, it all works. So, yeah, pretty nice. Now, I'm still waiting for one part. So, let me... The part I'm waiting for is an SMA connector. So I have... I have a whole bunch of these guys, which I could use. They are for uh, edge, edge mount. And uh, so there's four posts, but there's two for the edge. What I want is one post per corner, 
the vertical mount and then it would go on here. So if I was tried to use these, I'd, I'd have to snip off two pins and put it in there. And then it would only be soldered on one one side and not the other side. So I've got some, uh, some SMA connectors on order and uh, I'll be able to put it together. So uh, let me uh, change the camera angle here. I'll give you a close up view of the board and uh, we'll be waiting for parts. There you go, nice view. Like I said, it looks just like the uh, Gerber viewer. Uh, I think this will be good. I didn't mark where the components are, what the components do and everything. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take the uh, parts off of this board. I'm gonna desolder them off this board and put them onto this board. And uh, so no need to really mark them. <laughs> 